Hello everyone. In this lesson, we'll be discussing about valid and invalid arguments. What is a valid argument? An argument is a valid argument if the conclusion can follow from the given premises. It is an argument in which logic condition is satisfied. Valid arguments verify the conclusion in light of the given premises. They look for logical connectivity among the premises and the conclusion. Let us take few examples to understand valid and invalid arguments. Angelina is over 90 years old. So Angelina is over 20 years old. Is it a valid argument? Yes, of course it is a valid argument because the logic condition is satisfied. What is the logic condition in this argument? The conclusion can be inferred from the given premise. When the premise says Angelina is over 90 years old, it can be concluded she is over 20 years old. That's why we say logic condition is satisfied. When the logic condition is satisfied, the argument can be treated as a valid argument. Let us take one more example. Roslyn is over 20 years old. So Roslyn is over 90 years old. Is it a valid argument? No, it is not a valid argument because the logic condition is not satisfied. Why do we say the logic condition is not satisfied? Because the conclusion cannot be inferred from the given premise. The given premise says Roslyn is over 20 years old. From this statement, we cannot infer that Roslyn is over 90 years old. That's why we say logic condition is not satisfied. When the logic condition is not satisfied, that argument is treated as an invalid argument. Let us take one more example. All healthy plants have green leaves. My plant is a healthy plant. So the leaves on my plant are green. Is it a valid argument? Yes, of course it is a valid argument because the logic condition is satisfied. So what is the logic condition here? In this example, the conclusion can be inferred from the given two premises. Premise 1 says all healthy plants have green leaves. And premise 2 says my plant is a healthy plant. So obviously we can conclude that the leaves on my plant are green because it is a healthy plant. So that's why we say the logic condition is satisfied. Because the logic condition is satisfied, this argument can be treated as a valid argument. Let us take one more example. All crows are black. Ramses is black. Therefore, Ramses is a crow. Is it a valid argument? No, it is not a valid argument because the logic condition is not satisfied. Why do we say the logic condition is not satisfied? Because the conclusion cannot be inferred from the given two premises. Premise 1 says all crows are black. Premise 1 it doesn't say everything that is black is a crow. If it says everything that is black is a crow, then we can say Ramses is a crow because he is black. But premise 1 says all crows are black. So we cannot conclude from premise 1 that Ramses is a crow just because he is black. That is why we say logic condition is not satisfied. That's why the argument is an invalid argument. Let's look at one more example. All humans have legs. All donkeys have legs. Therefore, all donkeys are humans. Is it a valid argument? No, it is not a valid argument because the logic condition is not satisfied. What do I mean when I say logic condition is not satisfied? The conclusion cannot be inferred from the given two premises. Just because humans have legs and donkeys have legs, we cannot conclude all donkeys are humans. So the logic condition is not satisfied, hence it is an invalid argument. Now let's go through a summary on valid and invalid arguments. 
An argument is a valid argument if the conclusion can follow from the given premises. It is an argument in which a logic condition is satisfied. It verifies the conclusion in light of the given premises. It looks for logical connectivity among the premises and the conclusion.